Hello and welcome to Production Bytes. I'm your host, Veronova, and today I'm going to be covering how to produce contemporary vocals like you hear in a lot of pop music and electronic styles these days. This is of course all my own point of view and workflow method, so as I always say, use your ears and take on board what you think sounds good and tweak what you think should sound different. So the first thing that I usually do after I've got myself some good vocal recordings is take them into Melodin for tuning. Now, even when I've got a superb vocalist, this is worth doing, because all the vocals in music these days are performance perfect, so any discrepancies in pitch or timing aren't really acceptable anymore. However, I prefer to use an application like Melodin, which is a per note tuning application, it's manual, as opposed to using an application like Autotune, because it gives me a lot more control over how the vocal's going to end up. Whereas with Autotune, you just slap it on, set up a few settings, and it does all the work. You have no control over what it's actually doing there. In this way, Melodin is able to give far more natural sounding performances. And some alternatives are ImageLine's New Tone and Cubase's Very Audio. Once you're in Melodin, the first thing you need to do is go to File and New Arrangement. And this will bring up the Arrange window. You may not have this if you have a lower version of Melodin or if you're using another tuning application. Next, you need to go to File and Import Audio Files and then just select all of the audio that you want to tune, and in this case I've also got my instrumental backing track, and hit open. So now we've got our audio in, we're able to start editing. But first of all, I want to give a quick overview of Melodin for those who aren't familiar with it. To open up an audio track, all you need to do is double click on it, and then you'll get up this window. If you zoom in, you can see that Melodin has detected all the different notes in the performance. Raise your glass at the midnight dawning. The design of Melodin is very simple. What you're seeing here when you look at a note is the audio waveform, and you also see a pitch curb. Now the pitch curb is the actual pitch that a note follows, and the position of the waveform is the average pitch across that curb. For instance, at the minute, you can see this waveform is halfway between this line and halfway between this point. However, if I separate it at this point, you'll see that the waveform now has averaged just to this line, so it's a lot more central on it. And this is quite useful for later on. Using Melodin's tools now, we can start to make changes to the pitch and timing of the performance. So there's really only a few things you need to know about Melodin to start making some basic edits. The first thing I'd say is useful is just to know that if you hold down control and click, you can drag around. The second thing is if you right click, this brings up your toolbox. This is a toolbox of every tool that Melodin provides for editing your vocal. So Melodin's very quick and easy because you can quickly switch between tools just with the click of a button. So the first one here is the pointer, and this is just for selection really, but it also defaults when you hover over a note to the next tool, which is the edit pitch tool. And the edit pitch tool just allows you to drag notes up and down, and it will snap relative to a semitone. You can also hold Alt to fine tune. Next down, we've got the pitch modulation. This tool is the one which will allow you to get effects most like auto tune. This is the tool that will flatten out pitch curves. You can also grab the transition between notes and tighten that up and loosen it off. When it's tightest, and you've got some notes set apart, you'll see that's a very sharp jump. That's another auto-tune type effect if you ever want to create it. The next tool we've got is the pitch drift tool. Now this is similar to the pitch modulation tool, except instead of just flattening out notes, it looks at slow deviations in the pitch. It's more acting in a way which balances the note, as opposed to just completely flattening out the pitch curve. The next tool we've got is edit formant, which isn't something I really use but it's cool to have a little play with. Then Edit Amplitude, which just lets you make notes louder or quieter. Next you have Move Notes, and you have Note Separation, which lets you split notes down the middle into two more notes. And you also have the Segment Separation, which allows you to untie notes from each other. So even though these are two different notes, they're still tied together. And if I try to move one, the other one will stay stuck to it. But if I use the segment separation first, and then try and move this note, you'll see it will separate. Now that you understand the basics of using Melodin though, let's get on with actually processing this vocal. So here I've got the first verse of a track I've been writing and producing for the singer Pob. 
and you can find a link to him in the underbar if you want to hear some more from him. But this is what the track currently sounds like. Raise your glass to the midnight dawning Raise your hands to the DJ calling Raise your spirits in this midnight mass Raise the roof, are you ready to dance? Cause so, as you can hear, the vocals are pretty good, but they could use some tightening up in places. And I'm going to go into the first vocal and focus on this one for this tutorial. Raise your glass to the midnight dawning Raise your hands to the DJ calling Raise your spirits in this midnight mass Raise the roof, are you ready to dance? Cause He's mostly on note, but he's got a few bum notes and also could use tightening up a little bit just to bring this up to a commercial standard. The first thing that I usually do once I've got my audio into Melodin is I'll use my note separation tool and I'll just make sure all of the notes have been split up correctly. So for instance, this first note here, I've actually got two notes there, so I'll split it. And that means I can tune these separately later. And I'll go through the whole project and do this. Also, if you have a note which is particularly sharp or flat at the start or end, it's best to cut there as well, as bumping this note up is a lot more natural sounding than just flattening the pitch of the entire note. Another useful thing I'll usually do is if I've got vibrato and a flat note or a pitch down note before or after it, I'll chop that off as well as that means that I can fix this note later while keeping the vibrato completely intact. Now none of what I've just done will affect how the audio sounds, all it's affecting is how Melodin sees it, but the next thing I do does affect the sound. So this is the only point that I'll let Melodin do anything automatically for me. What I'll do is I'll select the audio and I'll go to edit and correct pitch. And once I've done this, I get two controls come up. Firstly, I've got the correct pitch center. And what this does is it moves the average pitch and it puts it exactly in tune. So it quantizes it exactly to the semitone that's nearest to it. While this doesn't create any unnatural effects at all, what it does do is it sets me well on the road to getting a much more professional sounding vocal as particularly on notes like this, where the average pitch has detected the note quite accurately, I won't have to do much more to that note. But also it means when I'm doing other types of editing, because I've got the pitch centered exactly on the semitone, if I sharpen up a note, it will center indirectly on the semitone. The second control I've got is correct pitch drift. And this is exactly the same as the pitch drift control you've got in your toolbox, it's just automatic. So basically it tightens up the pitch curves a little bit, and rebalances them a tad. If you look at this vibrato note over here, you can see that it's a little bit sharp here, and then it flattens a little bit. If I set this to 100% though, it pushes up this end and pulls down this end. This isn't a really drastic effect, and it doesn't create any unnatural sounds either, but it does help tighten up the pitch curves, so it's something I usually set to 100% if I'm looking for a really tight sounding vocal. But all you have to do is hit OK, and this is what it sounds like now. Raise your glass to the midnight dawning Raise your hands to the DJ calling Raise your spirits in this midnight mass Raise the roof, are you ready to dance? Cause now you've no doubt heard that some of the notes sound worse now, they sound like they're more off key than they were before. And that's because a few notes were more than 50 cents out, so they were then quantized to the notes above or below what it should actually be. And that's very easy to fix with the next stage, which is the finer editing. This is the part where you really need to use your ears. Up until now, you could have done most of it with your eyes. And you'll mostly be using the pitch controls. So I'll go through the whole track, and I'll do a few things. I'll check the note is correct, so it's quantized to the correct note in the scale. Then I'll also check the pitch curb doesn't drift too much from the note. Check that any pitch transitions aren't too sudden, or tighten them up if they need to be. And also make sure that I'm not flattening out vibrato, as it's very easy to mistake vibrato notes for either several notes or a note which needs tightening up. And vibrato is good, so if you want natural sounding vocals, keep the vibrato in there. But most importantly, make sure whatever you're doing sounds good to your ears, because they're a lot more useful to you in making something sound good than Melodin is on its own. So I'm going to go through this track and do the finer editing now. Raise a glass of... Uh, uh. 
Raise a glass at the midnight. Raise a glass at the Raise a glass. Raise a glass at the midnight. Raise a glass at the midnight. Raise a glass at the midnight dawning. Raise your hands to the DJ calling. Raise your hands. Raise your hands to the D. Raise your. Raise your hands. Raise your hands to. Raise your hands to. Raise your hands to the DJ calling. Your hands to the D. Raise your hands to the DJ calling. Raise your hands to the DJ calling. 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 Calling, raise the spirits in this. Raise the spirits. Raise the spirits in this midnight mass. Raise the spirits in this mid. Raise the spirits in this midnight mass. Here you'll see we've got a vibrato note which has gone a little bit flat on the start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this, then double click the end and double click the start just to bring them back in. And I'm going to use the pitch modulation tool to widen the pitch. And you can see now that's a much better looking vibrato note. I could even neaten up the end a little bit if I wanted. So there we go. That's a much more uniform looking vibrato note. Let's have a listen. This midnight mass. Raise the roof. Are you ready to midnight mass? Night mass. There we are. That sounds a lot better now. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. Raise the roof, are you ready to dance, cuz? Raise the roof. Raise the roof, are you ready to dance? 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 Roof, are you ready to dance? Cause are you ready to dance? Cause and there we go. So that's a finished vocal. And let's hear how that sounds against the backing track. Raise your glass at the midnight dawning. Raise your hands to the DJ calling. Raise your spirits in this midnight mass. Raise the roof, are you ready to dance? Cause... And that's compared to the other raw vocal, which I haven't tuned at all and sounds like this. Raise your glass to the midnight dawning. Raise your hands to the DJ calling. Raise your spirits in this midnight mass. Are you ready to dance? Cause... 
Now you need to repeat the process which I've used on this for every vocal stem you've got. And after a while you start to get a lot faster at it. And you'll even work out your own way of doing things and your own shortcuts as well. But this is the way that I tend to do it and it works for me. Once you've got all your stems finished, you're going to want to export them separately to import into your DAW. And to do this, all you need to do is go File, Save Audio. Under Channels, select Save Each Track as a Single File and then tick the tracks which you want to export. So in this case, I've got two vocal stems and I want to export both of them. Make sure you've set your audio settings to a good quality audio standards like 24-bit WAV and then set your range, but I'll just leave that as entire arrangement. Next, you go Save As and then the file name you're asked to put in will actually create a folder to put the audio files in. The audio stems themselves will be named after what their tracks are called but I'm just going to call this Phoenix Tuned and save. So now we've got our folder and inside we've got our stems named after the tracks inside Melodin and these are ready to import into your DAW for any more editing but most importantly for processing and mixing. But that's it for this episode of Production Bytes. Part 2 will be up next week and in next week's episode I'll be covering how to edit and mix your vocals. But as always, please like, comment and subscribe, and if you've got any suggestions for future tutorials, then please head over to our Facebook page and leave a comment suggesting them. I'll also pop a link to Pob, who is the vocalist in this track, down in the underbar, but I'll see you next time on Production Bytes. The midnight dawning Raise your hands to the DJ